Almost a year ago, Madison lost a memorable Badger business owner and piece of American hockey history. And today, those with the Capitol Ice Arena pay tribute to Bob Suter, a defenseman for the 1980 Miracle on Ice team. But Suter wasn't just a co-owner of the Caps Arena. He was a leader in making dreams for kids come true. NBC 15's Jalisa Irizarry shows us how the Suter name will live on. He had a pretty uh, successful career on the ice. A state championship, a national championship, and an Olympic gold medal. Over. You believe in miracles? Yes! Unbelievable! Success is an understatement, but it was Bob Suter's moves off the ice that made headlines in hearts. A, a big part of him was to, you know, to try to give back the best he could. Um, and for him, it was being out here and helping kids tie in their skates and giving them that opportunity to play hockey. An opportunity that will live on. Today, the Caps Ice Arena added a name to their title, one many approve of. He deserves it. Everybody loved Bob, and, and, uh, and he is in our hearts. Paul Anderson played with Bob as a kid. He says although Bob was a beast on the ice, seeing the tribute many are paying to him is bringing a completely different emotion to mind. I brought tears. But it's one slogan that ties up the man behind the legacy and one slogan that will keep the dreams of many on ice. You know, my dad started it and we have to carry on his legacy of, of helping kids and giving kids the opportunity to play. In Middleton, Jaleesa Rosari, NBC 15 News. Though Ryan Suter finished his NHL season being the leading defenseman in points on his team, he says not having dad a phone call away is something he's still getting used to.